Hey everybody, this is Torgamer Junkie, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how I believe Genji will trigger his avatar state in this new series. So for those of you who don't know, the avatar state is triggered when the avatar is under e extreme emotional stress or when they are just really angry. So it's anger and fear that triggers the avatar state, but every avatar ends up mastering the avatar state, but when the individual avatar learns that they're the avatar, they can't control the avatar state like at, at a whim. They have to learn to get their emotions under control, and in turn they control the avatar state. So it's going to be either fear or anger that's going to trigger the avatar state in Genji. Now the question is, which is it going to be? And after doing some research, I think I figured out the answer. And that is anger, and I think I know what's going to cause it. Now before I start, this is just a theory video. I don't have any actual proof, I'm just speculating. So, but if any of you have any ideas of how the Avatar State will trigger in this new series, please let me know in the comments below. So in the second part of The Avatar Returns, uh, Genji's sister Shai is upset that he was late to pick her up from school again. And to cheer her up, Genji uses his sand bending to pick her up and toss her around like she's on a carnival ride. And she forgives him because she's having a good time. Uh, and then we see the next panel cuts to these people and they're giving Genji... Well, they're giving both of them these dirty looks. And the reason is, if you go to the Legend of Genji webpage and you... Um, read about the uh, world and that, you find out that the Earth Federation split into several distinct tribes. And you and also the econ and because of this, um, economic opportunities are tough to come by in the desert because you know the earth benders and sand benders, um, they're part of different tribes and they're living in different areas. We see this uh, with uh, Genji's mother towards the end of the issue when Genji and Shai are watching the fire ferrets, I believe it is. Um, she gets this notice about a bill and and the bill is about how rent is already late. So we can see that Genji, Genji's family is in a poor district, like they're not I wouldn't say, I'd say their income is below average. And because of this, um, uh, op work is hard to come by, there's not many opportunities to make a living, and most survive through the traditions and techniques passed down to them by their parents. But some sandbenders decide to steal from others. Um, raiding, looting, they just do that. Now, I'm not saying that. Genji is going to do that. What I think is going to happen is that there is a sandbender is going to do something and Genji is going to get blamed for it and this will cause him and his family to probably get kicked out and I think something's going to happen to his mother. Not shy but just his mother might get hurt or something or maybe maybe she might die or, so die or something because um, the first Avatar series, um, well, both of them, both The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, um, they were kids shows, but they never shied away from just full-on um, hardcore stuff. But they did it in a way that children watching the show could understand. Like, uh, I miss cartoons like that back then, where you could have shocking content, but kid-friendly, you know? But anyways, um, I think something might happen to Genji's mother, and this will cause him to trigger his avatar state. And you can see here from this image that Genji appears to still be in his hometown, or community might be a better word for it, because I don't see this, this architecture to me doesn't look like something you'd find in the Earth Kingdom, it looks more like it was built by a sandbender than an earthbender. And so, Genji triggering the avatar state here would, um, and if he's in, when you first enter the avatar state and you 
and have not mastered it, you go on an absolute rampage. Um, but um, as the shows have shown, family and friends can help bring you out of the avatar state, but if Genji triggers the avatar state and he's by himself, he's going to cause mass destruction. And this could actually um, get the Earth Kingdom's attention. And the reason I bring up the Earth Kingdom is because in Genji's time, um, I want to read a passage right here. The Earth Federation has many economic troubles, massive national debt, a struggling economy, and growing wealth inequality. In order to create more jobs and boost the economy, the government chose to invade the Siwang Desert after discovering large deposits of oil and ore under the sand. The sand benders resisted as best they could, but they weren't able to hold back the Earth Federation armies and were forcibly displaced. The oil and ore from the, si from the Siwang Desert are invaluable for both the Earth Federation economy and the economies of other nations, especially the Fire Nation. So if Genji is causing all this destruction, like the Earth Federation is probably going to say something along the lines, okay, we need this oil. Um, I want to know, I don't want, or whoever's in charge, you know, they're, they're like, as the story goes, we, we know of a few people that are in charge, but, you know, people could be seizing power from the shadows. It's been done before in the series, and why can't it be done now? So whoever's in charge would want to investigate what's happening in this small village or community or town, whatever it is, I, I still, I, like, we've seen it but I just don't know the proper name for it. And they could, and they could discover um, that Genji is the Avatar. And so this person who's working for the Earth Federation could report back and say that um, this kid is the Avatar. and this could maybe, and, and this information could get leaked and this rumor could start spreading and maybe that's how Genji is discovered as the Avatar because someone from the Earth Federation who's um, just visiting this town and is trying to get the oil from it some way, like maybe evict people from their homes, I don't know. Um, maybe that's why um, Genji's house rent is it hasn't been paid yet because it can't be paid. The Earth Federation could be increasing taxes or something like that, which is causing these, which is causing the Sandbenders um, trouble, and they can't afford their rent, and then they'll have to leave, and the Earth Federation gets more places to drill for oil. So yeah, that's it. that's the end of this video. Um, I went a little off topic there, but I hope you all enjoyed it nonetheless. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Total Gamer Junkie, signing off.